Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I am Peachy Lama here on YouTube and today we are back for my Akatar in ACNH series. We are continuing to expand the Spring Court entrance we started in the last video and we're gonna take it from five spaces to 10 and then 15, eventually turning this entrance into more like a manners garden. That's kind of the vibe because next time I'm hoping to start playing around with more castle objects and seeing what we can create from there. But until then, we're gonna get started back into the Spring Court entrance. We have a campsite villager! Not that I care. I'm happy with my villagers on this island, so. Not true, their they're fill could go anytime. All right, before we continue, I want to go check out the campsite villager. Da -da 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 -da! Don't keep that in there, Peachy. <laughs> uh, it's back here. I was like, where the heck am I keeping my campsite these days? Because I haven't played this place in a year. <gasps> Are you serious? Hi. Hi. I guess we got to... We gotta get you on the island and send you out a freaking Valeris, baby. I feel like it'd be, it's gonna be really hard to bring him to live here, though. We interrupt this broadcast to bring Roscoe to the island. It's a heart because you love me. Dang it. <laughs> We're gonna talk forever. Someday it's gonna be a heart. It is gonna be red like your eyes yes and it was a heart see i am the winner you should you've got too much going on right now like what like truly what do you have going on please be red again it's black in it ah! it's been red it, both times so it's got to be black this time right or is it gonna be red again it's gonna be red again it's gonna be red again Yes! You have to move here now, boy. <gasps> no! You can't take my child away from me. Let's do this again. Roscoe! I cannot believe it's Roscoe. That is hilarious. So just to confirm, we are open to letting go of a Phil, Plucky, and Bill. But Phil or Plucky. Phil is the most preferred. I hate this process. I have his I I have his freaking amiibo, so if this gets too long. Stop leaving it up to chance. Just listen to me. Please, Phil, Phil or Plucky. Phil, 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 Phil. 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 Ooh, Bill is so cute. But I think I have his amiibo too. Let's do it, I'm done. I'll take it. Sorry, Bill, I love you. We'll get Phil out eventually. I just, I'm not, I can't. I don't wanna do this anymore. Thanks for all your fun. Thanks, baby. Okay, okay, back to business. Well, I guess the thought is no, technically, what if we just take this and keep going before we restart. I think it's worth trying out. So say we keep going to the next step and like maybe we put a gazebo in the middle. Let's see. So what if we did the stairs again? What if we changed this to be this beautiful one? I wanna see what it even looks like because I've been so curious. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, this is the vibe. Uh, this is the vibe I wanted for the interior eventually. Any interior stuff we do. But I don't know if it fits here yet. I don't know if this is the spot to put it in, but I kind of want to go for it. I think it's fun. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I almost don't want it to continue further than this spot. So like I need to find a way to kind of break it up. And that to me means stairs, which we did not grab. 
So I'll go ahead and get those side stairs just for fun. Cause I don't know, I feel like it would fit better. Yes, yes it is. All right. So what if we separate it with more stairs? Or, oh, 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 we have it. I got it, I got it, I got it. We just have this actually be like an elevated piece already somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause this is where I want the gazebo to go anyway. So that makes more sense. And then we can fill in this with the regular path we were using. Or maybe we should add more trees. I'm not sure. I don't know if we should have added more trees and more greenery for the spring court here, but let's just see what happens. Because this is definitely more of what I usually do when I make builds like this. I definitely keep it more path heavy, but maybe we should put like a tree like right here and a tree right here. Might be too much pink, but whatever. Otherwise I'll get, I'm, it might be worthwhile getting a uh, fruit tree. So if we did a DA like this ever, if we would just need to make sure before we da it, we would just need to make sure that we took out all the fruit. So we have a mixture of trees. I like that a lot because it just varies it up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty. Sparini! Okay, let's get some items to play with. Classic white gazebo, because I always do. You know, I always have one, but I'm not in love yet. Not in love with it yet. I think I'm feeling more of the blue to change it up a bit. And like, this is the, th there would be a blue roof for the uh, main house anyway. So I think this is a good option. Let's try the pergolas just for fun. I think it just adds more flower, flower power. Nothing really, I might even try the other one because I just don't think it matters. Uh, what if it would be too much to put a pine tree right here? Kind of makes this tree worthless. Almost makes me want to move in the tree to here. Yeah, it definitely fills in the space. I don't know how much overgrown vibe it gives, but I still, I think it's worth it. Did I get a fountain out? I don't think I did. I didn't think fountain, I don't think the fountain's gonna fit. I think it'd be too big. The problem is we just can't fit anything on these corners. Can you fit anything on these corners? Get out of here, Phil, I'm working. I'm so mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really not, but I'm still sorry. And I'm not sorry, but I am sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Like, sure, this works. Like, should I run with it and then try something after it? Like, I feel like you can't even see these lamp posts. They just don't fit. That at least feels like it fits a little bit better here. All right, so it's in the middle this way. And then that way it's kind of noticeable. Yeah, I'm not fully blown away by this, but it's an idea, it's an idea. Isn't that the whole point of this is just to play with ideas and figure out what works and what doesn't. And maybe this just isn't it but it still looks pretty dang cool. I have to say, I love the tile. Like black and white tile is just making me go nuts right now. I freaking love it. Truly obsessed. Yeah, I, I really do think it looks awesome. And it could be for having more, not necessarily a city core, but again, having the more elegant core start early instead of the overgrown part starting first, like, I think this is a pretty good start from this angle. I, I like the columns in the back. I think it kind of helps give it that vibe. You still have a hint of overgrown because of how much green is still within this, but I'm I'm liking it. The more, this is like, this is it for me. This is the shot for me. That makes me feel like, yes, this is the vibe. And this very well could be the perfect spot on an area of the island. It doesn't need to be the entrance, but this is just a good, if we needed a garden or something, I feel like this is a cool way to do that. I think this is look really, really neat. Very cool. I'm starting to like it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. 
For sure. Definitely, definitely the more I look at it, the more I like it. And I think if it was an actual like resin services in the back, it'd be very cool looking right now. Phil, do not ruin my shot. Phil, get out. And we could make it an even bigger garden later, you know, if we were able, if we didn't have resin services like where the brick is, we could make it an even bigger garden section here. I think I was just gonna, I think the thought I had was put gazebos behind here. All right, let's start with the initial idea, which was gazebo behind that. So right now it's kind of in the middle, but I like kind of where it is. I do like that a lot actually. So what if we remove the fencing, possibly remove the tree. It's not the worst spot, it's not my favorite spot. Um, and then maybe round topiaries. So another option, a little less detailed down the middle, but imagine again, resin services being down in the middle. That could be, that could be cool. Phil, you're really driving me nuts. I, I think it's a good, it's another alternative. That's really all this is, it's just another alternative. You would be keeping resin services in the clear to be seen if you had a resin services. Yeah, I, I, I like all these options. I think they're all viable. And there's really, I know there's not much difference, but it just, the, from this angle, it just looks so pretty in the garden part of it. And just again, imagining resin services in the back there. Oh, the wedding arches too. There's a lot of arches we could try too. So let's try pergolas real quick. So we could do a pergola moment. It's pretty as well. Yeah, same vibe, but more gardeny, more flowery, more spring. I guess this is kind of more the springy vibe. So it it's, takes it a step down from the elegant and more into the garden spring vibe, I think. So this is also a beautiful, beautiful thought. Like there's so much you can do. And this just offers just a chance for something a little different, but definitely adding again to that perfectly spring core vibe a lot more than i thought i thought i was like eh, whatever no i really think it kind of balances things out and it looks good so again lots of stuff to be done i'm curious about using arches too and it kind of frees up the center we could also potentially put the um, other gazebo back up yeah the arch is just as pretty so we could do very simple and not have any large object in the middle or on the sides another option it's a bit cleaner definitely definitely a good option i like it too like there's so many different combination of things it could probably add even behind the archway because there's a whole other block section behind the archway i think so another arch we can try is the ruined columned arch so there is multiple arches Let's, let's just totally ruin everything that we're working on. So this is the, this needed three spaces and I, there's still this whole block here. We, you could do something with it. What's up, sweetie girl? Peachy darling. Diana darling. The, the weight of the world is simply too much to bear, no doy. You sweet baby girl. That is what you worry about. I'm glad you had, had that is the only thing you have to worry about is someone taking taking the last designer shoes that you've wanted. That that's your worry. I love that. That's good for you. Okay, so I think adding the column here kind of helps with that overgrown aesthetic that we're also trying to achieve. I really think that adds to the overgrown aesthetic 100%. I think I'd like to change out my columns in the back for the ones with the white eventually, if I was gonna, you know, if this was the final piece sort of thing. Diana's always allowed to be here because she fits perfectly. Like, she's a night court babe, spring court babe, summer court babe, she could do whatever. But yeah, I think it's, it's clean and I think it brings like, almost like there's a wall surrounding the garden area as well. So I think that's something to consider when making more builds on this with this theme is to get those ruined columns in there and ruined items to really help give the overgrown addition to the spring core elegant core vibe that we're already working with okay so technically it's not exactly in the position that i wanted in but it still has access to where it needs to have access yeah i like this too i think this is a nice combination of everything so it's a bit it's a bit busy, but I think it adds an addition of elegance and creation. Just I like the, how cluttered and busy this is. I'm in love with this. I don't. What do you guys think? 
I think this is so unique, so different. It's not that different, but it is different. I don't know how to explain it. it. It's a very similar style to how I usually make things, at least symmetrically, but I don't think I've ever made something. Obviously, I haven't done something like this yet, so. Especially springtime, I never do stuff in the spring, really. It feels like I'm learning how to build different things and I'm putting all those ideas together into one. I feel like that's what this whole series is gonna be. All my ideas from my other islands and things that I've seen are gonna all come together into one place. Just imagining this actually being by resident services sounds just, I feel like it's so rich. It's so rich and beautiful. Oh, wow. I always like to do a from airport test as well. And I think now that we expanded to the 10, like the five didn't look that wonderful to be honest from the airport but this looks this looks really good from the airport this looks like you're about to enter a fantasy world this is a fantasy land hands down i love i love it i love it i love it i like the layering and i think the gradual incline of items is really nice too so that you get that front detail and the back is so filled that you can't see the sky behind it i think that just looks so cool and Diana, again, is helping with the whole thing. I, I'm trying to decide if it's worth expanding even a step further. Like creating a four, like a four square path intersection here. I wonder if, I wonder if it's worth doing another round of items. Oh, baby. I will, Diana. Thank you, sweetheart. This is past 10 spaces. To be fair, this is pretty good for 10 spaces. So let's take it all the way to 15. All right, I think we need to put the steps. How many, is it two? One, it's just one. So yeah, we need the steps right here for the next round. And then we'll do another one of these. All right, I think that's 15. I think my idea for the next video will be maybe using this as like the front entrance to eventually a castle. I think that could be cool. Like this is the garden entrance to a castle. I think that might be interesting. But right now it's the entrance to the island. So let's just see how it goes. The next, the next video I think might be playing around with castles with this as, oh my gosh. And then like seeing the castle through the entrance here. Oh man, that would be so cool. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting ahead of ourselves, but I'm excited. So how many, this is one, this is four plus the five, and this is four plus the five. Okay, I might put a fountain. I might put fountains. Ooh, I'm just excited, I think this is cool. So the only difference between what we have here is that the gradual, it has the gradualness. So now I feel like it needs to go down from here. I don't know, we have the tree here, so it kind of blocks. So that's why I'm thinking maybe a fountain is worthwhile here. And just try it out, just try things out. You won't know until you try. I think the fountain might take up all of this space. Yeah, and it's not bad. It just feels kind of boring. So I think because originally this was where it ended, I think we should consider moving that tree to maybe the other side. Yeah, I feel like there's so much more light now that can reach the um, fountain. Because we need to restart the idea of gradual, the gradual shape starting from the front, shorter, short to the front, tallest to the back kind of thing. So I need more columns too. All right. I also want to try putting down our cute, ooh, wait. I was gonna do I was gonna do this design, but I think it's actually time to do our garden design, like our garden stone design. 
since we can't fit any flowers in here i think this is gonna be it yeah yeah i like it i want to get more columns i think i might actually use these put these guys back i know i know i know i'm aware i know it's silly i know i just picked them up but they're a little more hidden so i'd rather use the ones that are actually going to be on display i'd rather them be the right color like i think this is the vibe we're going for but we'll see i may change my mind so on the other side i think because like if we're going to make a castle i don't know if i want the tree here but i think i might put the tree here a tree here and here maybe well at the very least we could put the flower bed right here it's literally lined up for it perfect Ooh. okay so then maybe we put the broken pillars here and then yeah i like having two rounds of them yeah all right good I kind of want to put maybe a bench here and what if we turn them if we turn them this way maybe and have the bench benches here on either side three spaces it kind of drives me nuts that that's three spaces but I kind of I think it works and then I might actually end up putting the tree right here uh-huh uh-huh yes Sorry, this is going to 16 spaces because I need it to. And then even if we have a castle, you should still be able to see it right there. So perfection. And it feels overgrown. Um, Let's decide if we want this garden bench or the or what we had before with the iron one. I actually think the garden one is the winner. It matches, it's not as, it's really, the, the iron one is really bright white. And I think for this right now, I'm not looking for that. So what if we do turkey day stands? I wish I could, I wish I could put a cypress bow on here. I don't think I can. It'd be really cool if you could. Can I put something in the middle here? Can I put something, can I put something underneath? No, got it. Just checking. That is freaking cool though. We can still have it underneath. Yep, 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 yep. It's not directly underneath, but it can pretend like it's underneath. So we definitely have less flowers over here. So that's my only, that's the only big difference between these two squares. And then there's really not any flowers. So it kind of covers the scorpion and makes it useless. So I'm not going to do that. Useless. Perfect. Even, beautiful. Now it's like, insane i just worry that we've done too much of the archway repeat but i think it all just kind of stays part of it at this point all right it's something it's a start i don't know i don't hate it but then again i said that initially and i ended up loving it the more i stared at it so i think it's going to be this similar idea and I, once we get to the actual castle build i think it'll help flesh us out a bit more so now this is a full courtyard kind of vibe it's overgrown but also i don't know it's spring core but also a little too elegant core the spring core is not spring core spring core in animal crossing is typically portrayed as very natural and so i wanted spring elements in here but not i don't want all of it to be springy if that makes sense it needs to be elegant at the same time but overgrown which we've already talked about 10 times but i like this because i feel like it gives the mixture of everything i've talked about <laughs> so i'm gonna hate taking all this down later get through all the spring court vibes and then we'll start anew and i'm gonna keep probably most of these builds up for a bit and maybe we'll start an overgrown area as a potential entrance but i don't think i'm gonna take this down yet for a while this was a lot of effort it's been three hours of building so i've spent seven hours on this video already guys seven hours <laughs> but i i've really enjoyed this and it's giving me my it's giving me inspiration for if i want to you know do this make an actual spring court island after valeris this is my entrance right here so i think that'll be something to consider that like whatever i build here on llama land i am gonna potentially transfer to another island sometime and that way you guys can visit it you know i think that's something that i think is a lot of fun about 
AC is that when you create something and then you put in a dream address, people can come visit and then they can get inspiration and see it for themselves versus just in a video. And I love that about dream addresses so much. I think it would be cool to eventually make this into a dream address, but I don't want it to be Llama Land's dream address because Llama Land is purely experimental. You know, go pick up all these pieces on another island and put this all together. So we'll see, I've, I've, I'm inspiring myself to keep going, keep trying, because this is really cool. Again, at first I was like, eh, I don't know, but now that I see it all together, I think it's really cool, and I think if it was a full island, it'd be crazy and wonderful and amazing, so. It's gonna be a cool thing. It's gonna be a neat thing. It's gonna be a fun thing. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. I cannot believe this is how it all turned out. I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are too. I did intend to do multiple entrances for this video, but this one just kept going and I'm just very excited about it. So I'm gonna keep it as is and we may do a more natural, overgrown, foresty, spring court entrance at another time and probably not in the same space. There's so much space on Lama Land to build with so we, we could easily just move somewhere else and pretend it's an entrance, you know? So no worries on that one. I definitely wanna try that out at some point. I, our next video involving builds on Lama Land are gonna be involving a spring court castle I, I think we'll do a couple versions. I want to do one that is a castle, like a straight up castle castle. And then I want one that I actually try to make more like Tamlin's Manor. I think we'll start with Tamlin's Manor and then see how that goes. And if I want to change it into a regular castle or just experiment with a castle builds, I will. But I think we'll start with Tamlin's Manor and go from there. If you're excited about this Akatar series and my opportunity to really branch out and not just focus on Valeris and the Night Court, but really try to do inspiration for all the courts, whether it's the seasonal courts or the solar courts, give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to be notified the next time I post. Let me know in the comments below which court from A Court of Thorns and Roses is your favorite. I would love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for all your support and I am so excited to go on this adventure with you. I love you all so much. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!